and this is Zoom. So we can get started. At this point in time, we can go ahead and sign up for it or sign in. So if you guys already have an ID with it, go ahead and sign in. If you guys don't, then we can go ahead and just sign up. So before we join a meeting or anything like that, I highly suggest signing up for it. So on the bottom left hand side, we're going to see sign up. Just tap on sign up. Once you type on sign up, it's going to ask you this information. So just verify your birthday. So once you type in your birthday, just press on confirm. From here, just put in your email, first name and last name. So once you guys have filled this in, just tap on sign up. You're going to see this. Just press on OK and go right into your email to verify this. So at this point, I'm just pulling up my Gmail and here it is. Here's the Zoom email I just got. Here we go. So it tells me activate account. So this is how I'm going to activate my account on Zoom just by clicking or tapping on activate account button in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And at this point, I should get this. So I'm going to go ahead and let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Are you signing on behalf of school? No. Go ahead and continue. And here we go. All right at this point, I can go ahead and put in a password and then confirm it. Just make sure it's a pretty strong password. So I put in a pretty long password at this point in time. I'm just going to tap on continue. And at this point, yes, we could just invite random people or people that you know already. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go and skip this step. I just have to confirm I'm not a robot. So I'm going to tap right there. And then crosswalk. So I'm just going to select my crosswalk. Obviously, this will be different for you guys. Once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this because I don't want to invite anybody at this point in time. Now, this is my personal meeting URL. That's fine. I can start my meeting at this point. Or I can go into my account. I'm just going to choose to go into my account. And here we go. So this is my account. At this point, I can close this web browser that I have and go back into my app and just type in my username and password to get in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to close this for now. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Zoom app. I'm going to sign in. Here's my email. So I'm going to type in my email. I'm just going to type in my password and then just hit on sign in. Once I tap on sign in, finally, I can just go ahead and I would like to access your calendar. I'm going to type in OK. I'm going to allow this. I'm going to allow that as well. And yes, you guys can save your password on your iCloud if you want to. I'm going to put not now. Do you want to sign in using Touch ID? Not at the moment, but it will be a lot faster if you guys do that. And yes, right now you're all set up. We can set up a new meeting. We can join. We can schedule. We can share your screen. We can do a lot of things right here. We can go into your chats, meetings, contacts, and so on. Anyways, that would be it for this video. That's how you get you set up with Zoom, downloading the app, getting everything set up. This is it. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.